Um, How are we looking over here, Sam? We're good? Well, folks, welcome out here to the Centennial Center Tennis Complex as we got a home opener here for the Bobcats and Morehouse College's away opener. And Georgia College took swept the doubles um, 3-0 as it accumulates just one point per team per win. And men's singles are on the way, or underway, I should say, uh, right now. And it, as I'm looking across all the courts, it seems Georgia College is up in every match except for our four guys. Um, again, I'm Riley Williams uh, bringing you. This is our first tennis broadcast ever, so we're going to see how it goes. A little windy out here, so got a weird sound, but got everything blown around. And we'll give you the lineups for both teams, starting with Morehouse. Uh, their one, number one, Justin Samples. He's a 6'2", 194-pound junior <coughs> out of Atlanta, Georgia. Went to Whitefield. Their number two guy, Rashid Slade, six-foot junior out of Washington, D.C. Number three, Maurice Pew, I hope I'm saying that right. He's a 6'1 freshman from Sacramento, California. Hey, way out west. Uh, four, Nolan Sadler, 6'2 sophomore out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Their five is Bernard Littles, 5'7 freshman out of Statesboro, down there where Southern is. And their number six guy playing today is uh, Cameron Nolan, 5'7 freshman out of Jackson. Say, is that Missouri? MS Missouri? Yeah, Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh, wow. Uh, see, I'm not a geography major by any by any means. And that'll round out Morehouse. Morehouse is coached by Terry Alexander. And up to Georgia College men's tennis. You got Gabriel Caron, Nathan Connolly, Pedro, and Ekin Ethanaro. Thank you, Sam. Ethanaro. Uh, Cole Heller, Enzo Cohn, Yannick Cumbier, Robin Moeller, and Nolan Wallace. And Esenaro is our number one guy. Cumbier, two. Caron, three. Cohn is four. Heller, five. And Connolly rounding out the singles with number six. And, folks, right now, the yeah, we have the one seeds on the screen. And we'll rotate back and forth between the ones and the twos every once in a while. Uh, the current score over on the one court is 1-0 Georgia College. And we'll keep you updated. May, may get Barsby over here for a little talk. Oh, yeah, Georgia College is coached by Steve Barsby. He's the men's tennis coach. He's been here since for 18 seasons. Graduate assistant Katie Krupp, athletic trainer. Aubrey Martin, and we got a faculty staff associate named Dr. Jake Grazer. It's all on the sheet. First serve into the net. Second serve in. And it'll be a point.
So now we're over here at court two, where Yannick Cumbier is facing Rashid Slade. Cumbier up two sets, I should say three sets to zero over Slade as they'll switch sides and take a little break. But Yannick last year was our number one guy until he was it, fractured his hand, broke his wrist. Broke his wrist, and he was out for the remainder of the season. It happened about midway through the season. Um, but, yeah, he's our number one guy from Neumister, Germany. I hope I said that right. I didn't. I know I didn't. But, yeah, uh, Cumbier is a retro junior, and uh, he's looking to hopefully make quick do of this game against his opponent. Sheed Slade. And now we're going to join court number one where Un Canaro and Samples are going at it. Canaro up three games to zero right now in the first set. It's a little windy, so <laughs> Samples is going to have to get rid of the ball over there. Serves away. Yeah, it's a little long from Incanaro on the return. It'll be a let. First serve in the net for Samples. Yeah, as I'm sure both players are out there trying to stay warm. It's a chilly day. Uh, the wind about 10 miles an hour. Samples second serve. It's in. High return from Samples and Canaro handles it. Just out past the line for Incanaro. Point goes to Morehouse. Justin Samples. First serve is in. Great backhand there. He'll just escape, giving Samples his second point in a row. serving the net. And the second serve will go out for point for Incanaro. Again, first serve in the net for Samples. Can't seem to find his first serve. Has plenty of speed on it. And if it landed, it's a tough one to return. So the second serve is usually a little slower, a little easier to handle for 
the returner. Then I'll just escape out the back right of the court for samples and point for Georgia College and Essenaro. First serve again in the net is three times in a row. And that'll be a game for Pedro Encanaro. So it'll be 4-0 in favor of Georgia College's switches service. And Encanaro gets that set, or gets that point, excuse me. Out the back four samples point for the Bobcats. First serve away into the net returned by samples point for Econaro. Again, 4-0 in favor of the Bobcats number one player. First serve in the net for Pedro. approaches the net and it pays off. So 5-0 is the score going into their set break, or excuse me, game break, as they'll switch sides. And we'll join court two here in just a second. difficulties this is our first time out here so we're still trying to figure it out and here we are live at court two with Cumbier and Slade the score on the cards is 3-0 in favor of Cumbier. Yannick is uh, looking to have a, a nice comeback year after that injury. Set him back a little bit last year. I know he we're gonna get Steve Barsby here on the on the call with me as in just a second. I'm gonna get everything set up so we'll be back in about two minutes folks.
Alright folks, welcome back here to the first ever tennis broadcast here at Georgia College and alongside me is head coach Steve Barsby and Steve uh how's this going so far? First first match of the of the year, you know? First match of the year. This is uh this is really cool. You know, seeing since seeing you guys out here with the broadcast and yeah. you know uh, not a lot of D2 teams will, will do this. There's a lot of live feeds, but there's not a lot of uh, analysis yeah. during the match. So you got your A game here for this? Oh, I'm going to try to. <laughs> Man, I watched a little bit of Australian Open just to kind of get some <laughs> lingo down, but I'm trying. <laughs> we're, we're, we're playing well. Uh, Mor Morehouse is Mor – we play Morehouse usually every year. Uh, Coach Alexander does a great job. Mm -hmm. They're always one or two in their league. Uh, we, we, we've got the better of them late lately but uh like i said they, they've gotten a little better this year and and uh but t today in the wind it's, it seems like a bit of a grind out there for everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we're right now i think we're live on court one with big pedro down there mm -hmm. all all right. five six of them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's playing well that, that, that kid it's every day it's it's a grind for him and no matter what he competes like crazy so uh him playing number one for us today and being a, being our only senior, you can you couldn't ask for a guy better to sort of represent you and, and go to work out here for you. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think from here, what is he up five zero? Yep. The kid he's playing is actually a pretty pretty nice kid from Atlanta. Justin Samples, I think, is his name, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's he's been there a couple of years. He's actually played juniors with Gabe, our number three guy today. Okay. So, yeah. Sample seems to be struggling to find his first serve. Uh, although the wind might factor into that a little bit. The, the wind's factoring in, in, into it a little bit, and and, uh, and and if we make it through this wind right here, when we say the wind factoring into it, as your tent's about to flip, fly over, flip on us. Yeah. probably factors into it uh, no matter what he puts in there. Pedro's putting it back to him. He might be trying to overplay a little bit. Yeah. Well, this, like I said, this this is good. This is cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to you guys doing this during the year. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a... You'll, you'll be picked up by uh, ESPN and <laughs> for the tennis broadcast. Hopefully. Get Brad Gilbert. <laughs> He'll lose his job. You'll be the new sideline guy. I know. And get a live look. If we can get Sam over here, we can get a look at court two with Yannick. With Cumbier, Cumbier's. Yeah. Cumbier's playing well, coming off, coming off, uh, coming off a little bit of the flu. I don't think he actually got the flu, but it was close. And yeah, then, symptoms. And then uh, we got Robin, who's out with the flu, and and uh, Noah's out with the flu, so. I told Coach, he asked me if we had any extra guys to play a few extra matches. I said, I said if they want to catch the flu, we got a couple extra yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how's uh, Yannick coming off the the injury from last year's hand? Yeah, he's doing he's doing well. Uh, yeah. Did a lot of rehab in the fall. Continued to do that and, and, and played some in the fall. Was a little rusty playing wise, but uh, coming around, you know, a bunch of matches are going to fix that. So. Yeah, uh, but health-wise, he's fine. Now Good. You know, just you know, get the get the get the match play back in there. Yep. The wind's ro uh, wreaking havoc on our scores. I'm trying to check out the other side. Oh, Cole just flipped it to five-two at number five. Actually, a little bit of a turnout here today for uh, our yeah. cold match. It's we usually don't have this many. <laughs> on a cold day, it's it's me and the trainer and, and my assistant usually. And yeah. If Al walks up, you know that's. <laughs> or or on a cold day, he tells me to bring the book down to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but he, even their coach mentioned he goes or not the coach uh, Cole transferred from another school and he said uh, his dad was like man the his past school was a, was a D one and they don't do anything like this so. Yeah. Uh, this is big time. We, we the guys will appreciate this. And uh, when did the when the girls start up, the women? 
Uh, girls start tomorrow on the road. Uh, I got Bernal up in Gainesville. Okay. So uh, Bernal is a solid program, uh, usually top 10 NAIA. Uh, Coach Ferreira does a great job, uh, great guy. Uh, love going up, and that's the neat thing after being in it 18 years. A lot of times I like going to play his team just to see the coaches yeah. that, that oh I yeah. become friends with and oh whatever, yeah. and Andre's a great guy. So yeah. look forward to ha speaking with him for a little bit before the match tomorrow. And, and uh, But like I said, it – It'll be a little chilly again tomorrow, but uh, the, I think the girls are ready. Girls are looking real, real good in practice right now. Awesome, awesome, yeah. And then we got baseball tonight, right? Yeah, five baseball at five. You out, you out there for the broadcast tonight? Nah, or? nah, I'm not out there tonight. Not double dipping? Come nah. on. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> That's not a hurricane out there. This is just a little wind blowing. Yeah. Little ten mile an hour wind sounds like fifty. I don't even know what it is out here right now. Yeah, it's, I think the high today was fifty one. Um, probably feels a lot colder than that. Couldn't be over with a little miscommunication on the score. It looked like. Yeah. Over there playing. That's the toughest thing in the wind as well. You you call the score, but a lot of times the guy doesn't hear you. And mm -hmm goes back and forth and usually it's they eventually figure it out or they agree to disagree and and, and we need to go out there but uh, Nathan looks like he's got the first set here at six Enzo's got the first set at four uh, so that's three freshmen out there three freshmen and a sophomore yeah so young team a lot of potential <laughs> and then the guys who are both out are both freshmen so uh, we'll see what happens Cumbier up for the first serve. Cumbier dro Cumbier's dropping the uh, what the baseball guys usually wear today, those tights underneath. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> see, it's always interesting to see what athletes end up wearing these days. There's so many different accessories that they can put on. That yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't see Esonero rolling, lo rolling those out anytime. <laughs> he's Spanish. He likes all his clothes super tight, but I don't know if he's rolling the tights underneath. <laughs> It looks like Cumier took the first set. Uh, he's got the first now. Pedro. Oh. Great return there, though. Great effort. Yeah. I guess we're back on Escenero's court now. Mm -hmm. well, it looks, uh, I guess it's the first game of the second set of the scores, right? But, yeah, hopefully this will be good for, you know, Pedro and, and Yannick, obviously, being from Spain and Germany, their parents aren't making too many of the home matches. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> this would be great for them to see it. So if uh, I told the guys that this was going to be on. So Mrs. Escenero, uh, if you're watching this, vamos, uh, vamos Real Madrid, as Pedro always says at the end of every interview. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ms. Cumbier, uh, off kits for Yannick. Uh, so hopefully uh, you guys are getting a chance to see your kids play. And even for parents that just don't can't make the travel all the way here to Milledgeville just from Atlanta, yeah, you know, just due to work or transportation issues. But yeah. it's always great to get a broadcast up. So Cole, Cole's Cole's dad actually just said that to me when I walked by him when the singles were first starting. He goes, "You guys broadcast?" And I said, "Yeah." And he goes, "Because this would be great when I got to work, I can stay up with the match and watch yeah. it." Yeah, yeah. Then, then we'll have what well, we got about eight days off, and then we'll head down to Valdosta and okay. real good program down there. So it'll be a big test for us early. I think they're top five. Yeah, they're for number four right now. I'm looking at it. Four. Yep. Who who's the coach who made that schedule with all those numbers <laughs> beside all those other teams? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, we've we've always felt like we, we'd rather we want to play we want to play a super tough schedule and see sort of at the end of the year we know where we are. Yeah, that's fair enough. In future broadcasts, I think I'm going to get, like, whoever isn't playing, I'm going to get them over here with you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. We'd, we'd love it. 
not, we're not, uh, or I definitely, I'm not, uh, the best at calling <laughs> tennis. And all this is my first time, so. You got, you, you should do, uh, listen to Australian Open Radio or something one time. Yep. That's actually pretty funny to listen to. Obviously, a non tennis person would think it's, sounds a little crazy, but oh, the, I don't the guys are. It's like backhand, forehand, forehand, backhand. Yeah. Backhand. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to paint the picture the best he can. It's yeah. actually pretty interesting. Yeah. This guy looks like he's making a little run on Nathan here. Enzo looks like he's steamrolling down there at number four. It's 3 0, it looks oh like. Yeah. That's the guy. You need Nathan's dad on here. Nathan's dad's a, a jack of all trades, a sports fanatic. He he'd be he'd be an unbelievable broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, shoot him a text, get him over here. <laughs> Let him take over. I'll just sit here no, and listen no. to him. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna do it with him. <laughs> Pedro's, yeah. We still on Pedro's match? Yes. I don't think he. Get, I'm pretty sure that was in. Yeah. Dropped in, nice little drop shot. Rolling. Get Gabe just went up a couple breaks in the second here. Playing well as a freshman, playing much better this semester than last. Yep. Sold hot chocolate out here. It'd be a good fundraiser <laughs> today. You ain't kidding. Man, my hands are cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this back to Sam. I'm going to I'm gonna go on a walkabout, see, what, see what's going on out All there. All right, appreciate it, Coach. Let, Sam, let, 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 let the, uh, the young voice of the Bobcats take over. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much, Coach. I'm gonna hop on here. All right, yeah, I'm, do I'm it. getting too cold to be standing there the whole time. <sighs> you ain't kidding, Sam. Absolutely. Sam Jones here with Riley Williams on the Bobcat Broadcast Network. Big thanks to Coach Barsby for joining us just a moment ago. Everything seems to be going in according to plan right now for the Bobcats. Georgia College in the lead. It looks like all six courts. Of course, we don't have the greatest view yeah. over here where we're at. We're hoping to work on that. Of course, like Riley said, this is our first broadcast. So we're taking some time to get to know the ropes here around the Georgia College Tennis Complex and hopefully being the best possible broadcast to you as the year goes on. Still on court one over here, Pedro Athenaro taking on Justin Samples. So serving, first serve in, returned. And Samples will call that one out. Samples the big scout here today just about we have Enzo Cohn, who's a freshman, who checks in at 6'4 for Georgia College, but Samples at the 1 is 6'2. 6'2, 194. Tall and skinny. I don't know if I call 194 skinny. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some muscle on him. Oh, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Call 5'11", 160 skinny. That's what I'm sitting at right now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to work on that. <coughs> Looks like Zanaro dropped. Zanaro, excuse me, dropped uh, a game to Samples. Uh, we lead 2-1 over there. In the second set, as Pedro took the first one. And they'll go into a game break as Pedro goes and grabs some water. We'll go ahead and switch over to Yannick Cumbier's spot. And he floats one over. Like a little too wide. Too far from Yannick. You see the score over there, Riley? 8-3. <laughs> eight, eight, but it's wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I think it's 3-0 uh, in favor of Cumbier. I, I, did, I didn't even realize we were on the opposite side of where the actual score will come up. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing the back end of those numbers there flipping. We're going to have to learn how to read in reverse, essentially. R 
Riley, you play a lot. Is it difficult to get out here when it's cold like this and, you know, put in a quality performance? <laughs> play a lot. Uh, well, I mean, it's difficult for you to put a quality performance yeah, exactly. at any point. Exactly. Any point, um, uh, no, it's it's definitely it's definitely interesting uh, to to get out here in the, in the cold, and especially in the wind. It really affects your serve and and uh, and any return because the ball just moves around. It's so light; the wind catches it. It goes it goes two feet one way, two feet the other, and two feet is a big difference here in in this game. And uh, but yeah, it's definitely different. It's it's hard to get warmed up, but uh, college collegiate players go through uh, extensive warm ups. Oh, what a shot there! Kimbier volley at the net, and Slade tried to return with a volley of his own. He was a little too far away for that, though. Mm -hmm. Kind of an interesting battle going over there at one. We'll check back in on them for a moment. And Bonaro couldn't get a racket on that last one. Samples got the point. I'm not quite sure Pedro is expecting to be too challenged today. But so far, Samples holding his own. Atlanta, Georgia native, staying at home over at beautiful Morehouse College there in Atlanta. One of the foremost HBCUs in the country. You know, it's interesting to see this battle between 5-9 Pedro Escenaro and 6-2 uh, Samples. Because I mean, it's just a, it's a completely different shot you got to adjust to, and Pedro's doing a great job. Uh, although this the skill might be a little different either way, but it's it's definitely a, a different shot. It's more of a downward angle for uh, samples as he, as he as his serve comes from higher to lower, as his first serve does right there, and ends up being a low shot over the net. Pedro's still being worked pretty heavily here. May not be on his A game in the first game of the year. Trading forehands. FNR and samples. That one dropped short. Pedro had to drop it in. We'll go back to pushing. That one lofted a little too far. Pedro will get the point. You know, I feel that a lot of taller players they have, they have a lot more power into their shot, usually on, on their first serve. And uh and in tennis is a game of finesse as, as as well as a lot of other like volleyball, and in 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 volleyball is a lot about finesse, and and tennis is almost the same way. As long as you can place your shot and and, and get a, a decent a decent spin on the ball, it's a uh, it's a lot it's a lot more effective than just a powerful shot. So I don't know if that's if samples is is trying too hard on the first serve to get it in, and rather than just placing, because he has he has yet to find his first serve. Pretty yeah, missed both times there. Yeah, double faulted. Pretty effectively so. That'll take a short break. We'll head over to court number two, check in on Kumbier and Slade. Looks like we might have a final over at three. It's Gabriel Caron 
facing Maurice Pugh. And it looks like Corona made short work. Straight set win for Corona. The first singles win for the Bobcats. So I guess the total score would be 4 0 now. 4 0. 4 0. Soccer terms. Or love. Whatever yeah. we're doing here. <laughs> a brave new world for us as far as broadcasting uh, goes. Yeah. We're going to have to learn our, our terminology. You ain't kidding. Slade with a wicked backhand. Cumbier dug it out though. Made Slade come forward. Slade couldn't get a racket on it. Cumbier played a lot of last season before his injury as, as the one. Um, and so he's as Bars Barsby pointed out, that he's just got to get some matches under his belt, get that experience back in him. He said, physically and health-wise, he's fine. He's more, he's better than he's ever been. Uh, did a lot of rehab in the fall, but uh, he just needs to get some some match experience under his belt this year, and uh, he might he might see the one position, and Pedro might see two, and they'll rotate back and forth. Slade's backhand's a no-go as I think Cumbier just ended the end of the game, into the set. And the Bobcats take another win. Five nil. Five love. <laughs> if we're gonna go with we'll, we'll, go, we'll go zero. Zero. Now. We'll go zero. Five zero. Sounds good. We don't want to continue to offend anyone too much. <laughs> we'll head back over to one. At the Naro serving. Once again, we've seen it a couple times from samples. He tries to, I guess he's trying to get topspin on it and just lifts it. So they'll take a mid-set break, get some water. And it's 4-1 to one now in favor of Sonaro. Looks like court four is done a win for Enzo Cohn uh, over Morehouse's Nolan Sadler and court five is also looking like it may come to an end as well pretty soon and that's Cole Heller facing Morehouse's number five Venard Littles we unfortunately only have the two cameras today, yep. so uh, we we can't we can't turn them around and show you guys. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can, but it just take about twenty minutes. Yeah, I think the match should be done <laughs> by the time we actually get it sorted out. We do what we can. That looks like at the Naro and Samples returning to court number one. Once again, the score, Riley. Four one is what I'm seeing. And Pedro took the first. First game, yep, yes. first set. Samples first serve again in the net, struggling to find it. I'm sure that's getting in his head too. Tennis is such a mental game that once you, if you just start out Struggling is just going to continue to get worse unless you have the mentality to, to overcome that. And again, lifts it high, like you said. Maybe he's trying to get a little top spin on it, but it went out the back. The point for Pedro. Serve in the net once more. Second set in, or second serve in, excuse me. Couldn't tell if that one made it in or not. It's a bad angle. Can't really tell. <laughs> Court six, the score looks to be 4-1 in favor 
of our number six, Nathan Connolly, a freshman, or excuse me, a sophomore out of McDonough, Georgia, Union Grove High School. McDonough. 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 No, McDonough. Old McDonough had a farm. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push it. A whole bunch of other sports going on today, too, on the Bobcat Broadcast Network. Baseball begins their season with a lot of hype surrounding them. The number 14 team in the country coming in the year takes on Payne College. It starts at 5 o'clock. We'll also have eSports on the Bobcat Broadcast Network on the BB2, I guess we'll call it, the dose. On BB2. Our, uh, second stream, I uh, We'll have that come live, I think, at 8.30 as the Peach Belt continues their initiative as a venture into the world of esports and League of Legends. Not as much hype surrounding that Bobcat team. They're also very good, though. Have yet to lose. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Top two teams from the Peach Belt head to a national championship spot. It's out there in the west of the U.S., isn't it? Oh, yeah, it? they get them in a big stadium and everything. Yeah. Over there in California. Yeah. A little journey out west. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a great experience for that eSports team. And the guys. Let Smith Naro. <laughs> Try it again. That one's in. Not too far in the return from samples. I think that's game over here on court six as Nathan Connolly wraps it up over their six seed Cameron Nolan. So Georgia College has won every match played today. Made quick work of it. It's only been about an hour and a half since doubles started. And singles are almost over with. I hey, don't mind getting out of this cold quickly. Oh, yeah, ain't kidding. I'm sure the players <laughs> don't mind it either. So I was first served into the net. And that'll make do of the game. First seed match goes to Georgia College and Pedro Escenaro. And the only match left now, can't show you it, talk about it though, is the five seeds going at it. As that is Cole Heller going up against Bernard Littles. Heller seems to be up four games to one right now. This first serve goes into the net. And his second serve is long, so that'll be a point for Littles. Littles maybe trying to find a some kind of Anything to get going for Morehouse. <laughs> yeah, one more time. This is the first time tennis has been broadcast here here on the Bobcat Broadcast Network. So, excuse us for not knowing too much about it. <laughs> we'll uh, attempt to get a little better at it as the season progresses, and hopefully by the end of it, we can bring you a quality broadcast. And hopefully video more courts. Because right now we're only going court one and court two. <laughs> Cole Heller serves in. 
Keller makes his way to the to the net, and he'll get that point. I feel like working the net's always a interesting factor to throw into the game, and if you're good at it, it can definitely be costly to your opponent. Again, the the girls, Georgia College Bobcats, <laughs> open their season tomorrow, and the guys head down to Valdosta, February 11th. They'll be down there at 1 p.m. start time, and then come back here to Milledgeville. Uh, the 14th uh, to play Augusta in the first Peach Belt Conference matchup. And that will be a 1 p.m. start time as well. Uh, again, making his way back up. To the net, and what a shot there by Littles. Great recovery as Heller kind of found the back corner, and Littles just played it way up in the air, almost to the back line, and Heller couldn't get to it before it hit the before it hit the fence behind him. First serve in from Littles. And his return goes into the net. Great little rally there between the two players, Littles and Heller. Heller had a nice little sliced backhand that had Littles running to the net and couldn't get the shot back over. Slow first serve from Littles. Just trying to place it now. Looks Heller's going to take advantage of that and try and play a little hardball, but goes into the net. Be a point four. Morehouse's Bernard Littles. Again, a slow first serve that allows Cole Heller to come up to the net and end this tennis match between the two schools and Georgia College will sweep every game played today doubles and singles so that might just do it for us here on the Bobcat Broadcast Network again thanks to all you guys listening thanks to Coach Steve Barsby for coming and joining me for a second, Sam Jones and I'm Riley Williams and we'll try and do it a little better next time for you but again, here we enjoyed it first tennis broadcast of the year and of all time actually so go bobcats and appreciate morehouse college coming up here and giving us a nice little first game so again riley williams signing off with the bobcast bobcat broadcast network